Now let's see normal versus abnormal and variety of position of the tokenomic point entering through um, through the pelvis during labor. So in the previous video we defined the variety of position as the different position that the tokenomic point can have with relation relation to the maternal pelvis and in the previous video we find the tokenomic point as a specific arbitrary point of the presenting part of the fetus so let's draw the maternal pelvis um, this is the maternal pelvis this is anterior this is posterior we are going to put the pelvis this way so this is anterior now top is anterior this is posterior now down is posterior this is right this is left so um the pelvis maternal pelvis is going to be something like this is the pelvis sacrum this is the the more or less like this so it's sacrum this is the iliac bone here and this is the symphysis of the so this is anterior this is posterior this is left this is right um here we draw the same what we did the same plane this is talking about an um, maximal flexed um neck this is a vertex presentation where the tokenomic point is the occiput. So we can have occiput anterior, occiput posterior, left occiput, right occiput, left occiput anterior, left occiput posterior, right occiput posterior, and right occiput anterior. So And this is the, the variations of position we can have of the tokenomic point relative to the maternal pelvis. Um, the, the normal, normal thing is that when the head is engaged, engaged in the pelvis, First, the, the head enters to the pelvis in an occiput transverse, occiput transverse variation of position. Occiput transverse, this can be either left occiput or right occiput. So when the head um, first um, is going to pass through the pelvis the head well not not the head the tokenomic point in this case the occiput is either um, left occiput or right occiput left occiput or right occiput remember um this is the maternal pelvis and anterior is here. Um, to have a better understanding, um, this is the longitudinal axis of the of the mother. Um, the fetus can enter to the pelvis either in an occiput um, transverse, which is right occiput, or left occiput variation of position. This is how the um, the baby enters to the pelvis but after that then the then we have a rotation then the head is going to rotate and this rotation is going to bring the tokenomic point to the anterior occiput 
variation of position. So being um, the the head engaged in the pelvis in a either left occiput or right occiput. We are going to do a rotation that this is going to end having an occiput anterior position. So the same here, we have a transverse occiput, occiput transverse position, either right occiput or left occiput. And after um, entering to the pelvis or at the very beginning of entering to the pelvis, the fetus is going to rotate and the tokonomic point is going to be now in an occiput anterior position, which is the same here. Occiput anterior position. This is normal. So um, normal is passing from tra occiput transverse, which is left occiput or right occiput, towards um, occiput anterior. This is normal. Um, we can have other not so common presentation, but um, is not. Um, we we can deliver um, with those variation of position, which is um, we can deliver ovules with this one. If after the rotation the tokonomic point is in occiput anterior, this is the normal way of. Um, of delivery of delivering the baby, but instead of being in occiput anterior, the tokonomic point can be either um, in left occiput anterior or right occiput anterior. I mean, this is not the best variation of position um, to have after entering the pelvis, but it's possible to deliver a baby instead of being in occiput anterior after rotation could be left occiput anterior or right occiput anterior this is um, not the best way but it's, it's common it is possible to have a baby, um, to deliver a baby with this um, variety of position of the tokonomic point but what is called a malpresentation my presentation or an abnormal presentation is whatever is not this so let's say like normal or um, variety of positions that can be delivered is um, anterior variety of position occiput anterior left occiput anterior right occiput anterior so whatever be posterior or transverse a variation is my presentation. So if the variety of position is occiput posterior or left occiput posterior or right occiput posterior or left occiput or right occiput which is transverse transverse um variety of position this is an abnormal presentation and this is more difficult to have a delivery sometimes we cannot deliver a baby if the tokonomic point is in is in this variety of position so um normal position or positions that can be delivered um after the after the head already rotates or being the head in the pelvis is if the tokonomic point is in an anterior occiput anterior position left occiput anterior right occiput anterior most common occiput anterior my presentations are occiput posterior occiput posterior left occiput posterior
left occiput posterior, so well, no, pointing to the left and posterior, left occiput posterior. Right occiput posterior. Um, right occiput posterior, so right and posterior, right occiput posterior. This is also abnormal. And another malpresentation is left occiput or right occiput. Right occiput, right occiput, or left occiput. So remember, um, here this is longitudinal axis, but here we need to rotate this way. So for that, I'm um, changing the position um, this way towards this way of the fetus. So um, the normal, the usual thing is that the the tokonomic point variation is either left occiput or right occiput at the very beginning of the head entering the pelvis. After that, the baby is going to rotate and this rotation ends in an occiput anterior position. Um, normal presentations or normal um, yeah, variety of position we can have is this one, occiput anterior, but we can also have um, right occiput anterior or left occiput um, anterior. Normal presentations is everything else. So posterior occiput posterior, left occiput posterior, right occiput posterior, or transverse occiput, um, left occiput or right occiput. Um, this is important because, for example, if um, a woman has an anthropoid pelvis, Here, um, the, the head is engaged in a transverse, in a, not transverse, um, is engaged in an occiput posterior, occiput posterior. This is in an android pelvis. The the variative position would be occiput posterior instead of occiput anterior. This is not good. And the other thing is having a platypeloid pelvis. Platypeloid pelvis. The head um, enters with a tokonomic point variety of position of occiput transverse. So in a platypeloid pelvis, instead of having occiput anterior uh, as a variety of position, the variation of position is going to be left occiput or right occiput. This is how, sorry, left occiput, right occiput. This is how the head is going to be engaged in the pelvis and that is how the baby is going to be delivered in a platypeloid pelvis. So these are very tough um, deliveries. So normal um, entering in a transverse, uh, position rotating towards occiput anterior. 